Right. 2023 uh, is when when we'll get the first appearance, I guess. Well, I guess he'll show up at the end of Whitaker's run. You think like they'll they're gonna they have to do that, right? They have to do a regeneration scene and have him show up, or or maybe they try to break form this year. Yeah, I mean, what was what was uh I'm they trying didn't to think say back anything to... about him having filmed any scenes yet. No, and I think I think that's the big thing. So if we want to jump into that conversation, what was your what was your big realization, Aaron, as you were running through oh. The, the, I mean, in my mind, on the other end of the phone, you were that gif of all like the math problems flying around in the air, <laughs> and so like, true. You, were, you were piecing it together. I did. Um, <laughs> I was blowing up your phone because I was. It was like slowly dawning on me, and it was probably everyone else probably already thought about this, but for whatever reason, I was just assuming we would have holiday special. Yeah. You know, Christmas or New Year's special. It's something that we've had since since as far back as I can remember watching Dr. Who back to 2005, probably. Uh, But yeah, I started thinking about, I was like, wait, Jodie Whittaker's final episode has already been announced to be in the fall. And we're not getting new episodes with, with um, shooty. Yeah. Until 2023, like not early 2023 right yeah yeah <laughs> they, they're not going to give us the first episode on new year's of right him. like yeah. that's no they i don't think they've even started filming so he's he's off I, i'm assuming late 2023 is probably when we'll get that stuff probably toward the holidays that's when they'll kind of ramp up the 60th anniversary stuff uh so yeah there's not going to be a there's not going to be a holiday special this year i know and that is that is astounding right? Like it has become, I mean, yes, we've seen it switch from a Christmas special to a new year's, new year's day special. Like we've, we've gone through that transition. And at the end of the day, like you still get to, you still got to that week and it was still like, Oh, I have a doctor who episode episode to look forward to. Um, not this year, (laughs) like, this is a clean break. And that was one of the things in the interview that as they were doing their first interview, RTD and uh, Gatwa, and they were talking through everything and they asked Gatwa, like, how long have you been sitting on this information? And he's like, oh, I've known since February. And I was like, okay, okay. They've known since February. So they've already started to like record. Like that was my hope. And RTD made it very clear that like, it's still Whitaker's time. It's still Jody's time. Like we've done nothing. Up yeah. To and this point. I found the quote cause I was blowing up your phone. So I just went back and looked at, looked at my text to you. And he says, uh, now this is, this is Davies on December 22nd of 2021. Yeah. Okay. That he said this. So this has been months ago, but he said, that he's already written a couple of his episodes for the new era and confirmed that his first episode would indeed go out in November of 2023 on the 60th anniversary. So they're timing his first episode to be with the 60th anniversary, which is in November. So we're talking full year. Yeah. We'll have a whole year. Whenever they decide uh, Jodie Whittaker's final episode is in the fall, which my guess is probably will be October, November. Yeah. Uh, and then we'll have no holiday special, so no Christmas special, no New Year's special. And then we have to wait all the way until November of 2023 to get the premiere, uh, which coincides with 60th. So usually the 60, the, these big anniversaries are kind of big event episodes. Right. So is that when they pull out the big guns? Is that, you know, does does is his first episode going to be like a crossover episode where he has multiple doctors with him are they going to bring tenant back for that or smith or maybe jody whitaker is involved in it still i don't know like it it seems like a small if they just have it be his premiere kind of like woman who fell to earth yeah. that was a great episode but that's not an anniversary episode right oh you're talking not. 60th anniversary yeah they gotta go big you can't just have it be one doctor or have it be you know something small yeah uh so i mean do i mean honestly do we do we know for certain that it is whitaker's 
Like, are they wrapping things up for her this fall? Do we know that for certain? I think so. I think they've they've said or that. Or is it just or is it just her like final episode? Because it would be like the last episode of her. But like what if what if the what if what if they pull a tenant and it's like the start of the regeneration process? Or a Capaldi. But it, it, yeah. Or they Capaldi. did that with Capaldi like, where they he started to regenerate and then they had a whole other episode that he yeah. was regenerating the whole episode. <laughs> right. So like they could they could literally do that. And so the 60th is a huge regeneration, new doctor premiere, bring back two former doctors. Like they won't do it. They won't do it with with Whitaker because Chibnall and Whitaker are gonna want to go out together. And I don't think that they're gonna have I'm pretty sure, and like, I don't have any quotes or anything that right. I can pull up right now, but I'm pretty sure they have said like, she's filmed her final scenes, emotional oh, stuff, yes. yeah, yeah, like, yeah. how emotional it was. So I, I'm, I think this is, they're closing the book on her in this next episode. Uh, I don't think there will be any, any carryover. Okay. Um, so is it a full regeneration on this episode or is it a flash of the face? He falls into the back room of the TARDIS or she falls into the back room of the TARDIS. And so the next episode we see is Gatwa walking out of the back door, like out of the TARDIS and it's like, oh, regeneration. Like, do we get to see him full or her fully regenerated come come the next episode? That's what you would expect, right? That's, <laughs> that's, a, mean, that's such a non-answer. Of, that's kind of what they do. Oh, you're asking for my prediction. I'm asking for your prediction. <laughs> So he's known since February. He's known since February. Yeah. We get, we see him. We see him. Full? The, yeah. Yeah. They figured it out. They, they, if he's known since February, I don't know the timing of when they filmed. I don't remember when they filmed the finale or whatever, but I imagine even if they hadn't filmed with him on set, there would be a way that they could kind of digitally, yeah, you know, film a scene and kind of make that transition. So yeah, they, I, I think that they, although Chibnall is known for going against form or, you know, maybe kind of surprising you, I don't think that they're going to break that tradition yeah. to at least get that transition for the fans. So we have, okay, we've seen the new guy. Now let's get excited about him as the doctor in, in his first episodes coming. So that's my prediction. Do you, what do you think? No, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take your prediction, but I will say that, the companions say goodbye again. I think I said this last episode companions say goodbye before that regeneration ever takes place. So they don't even get to see the new, she goes off on her own. She goes off on her own regeneration takes place away from everybody. That's kind of how it usually happens. Right. Yeah. I mean, usually as in, but not with Rose and not with Clara, right? Like they tenant was alone. He was alone in the TARDIS when it happened. He was alone in the TARDIS when it happened. It's just Rose yeah. got to see that it was... She just saw after. Right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah, he's never... The Doctor's never regenerated with, like, other people around, right? They usually kind of get off on their own. Even Smith kind of went back into the TARDIS. Capaldi did, although yeah. Capaldi... Yeah, Capaldi had his little speech and stuff. That right. It's always in the TARDIS. Like, right, right. But the, the companions see him afterwards. Like I'm saying, yeah, they'll see him after, but they don't see it during. They yeah, don't see I'm saying, yes, yeah, says goodbye. She never sees the outcome of the transition. Okay, I'll so put she it doesn't. That way. Okay, I see. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the exciting thing, right? We still have one more episode with right. with the characters that we know, and as much as we want to think about the future, we still have to end this Doctor's run. Yeah. 